What's up guys? Um, do a quick video here. It is a Saturday. I'm wrapping up for the day here. So I got a couple requests to do a toolbox tour. Um, the last one I kind of just go through it and there's just music playing in the background. So I'll kind of give a little in-depth one here. I don't want this to be really long or long-winded, so we're gonna get right into it. Um, this is a Icon 56 inch box, stainless steel top, hutch, and the 28 inch locker. Um, I've had it since October of 2021. It's been a really good box so far. It gets used daily. Um, I've had no problems with it. I had it wrapped. All the trim was wrapped with uh, 3M vinyl. Um, I've had that on there for almost three months now with no problems. Um, starting up top here, Milwaukee Grease Gun. Um, it's the M12 version. Uh, great gun. I highly suggest you put a locking um, latch on the end of it makes life a lot easier. I have a Milwaukee speaker that I use. Um, I hook my phone to it. Uh, sure shot can that has brake clean in it, WD-40, oil, um, battery maintenance shit. Uh, I have a Milwaukee bag. If I got to take something out in the field, I take it with me. Uh, pad to kneel on. Um, here in the locker, we have all my blow molded cases. Lights that I don't use a whole lot, but if I need them, I have them. Um, cleaners, wipes, glass cleaner, a respirator. There's some rags back there. There is a face shield back there. My welding um, hood, uh, a new mini torch. Um, these I actually have to take home. Those are just some Allen, uh, T Allen keys. They're not the best. They actually break a lot. Um, they're the new Chinese version of Craftsman. Um, this is like a pop-up magnetic uh, holder. It's an oil filter. A lot of this is just miscellaneous, dude. Um, grease, label maker, goggles, um, some band clamps, wire brushes, heat gun, more rags. What else we got here? Uh, detailing stuff. It is the summertime, so they give me a summer helper. Um, he spends most of his time in this drawer, and I give him one of my drills, and he details the insides of trucks and equipment. Electrics, I got a multimeter. I use a Klein uh, multimeter. Um, I have a Milwaukee headlamp here. This is actually really nice. Let's see if I can get it to work. Oh, well, it's charged. Um, these are really nice. Um, trailer wiring small leads, um, uh, the, the, the butt connectors, uh, the shrink ones, heat shrink ones. That pretty much takes care of here. This is just kind of overflow, cleaners and stuff, labels. Um, that's pretty much that drawer. In the hutch area here, I do have a four foot light that is from Icon. Um, it's supposed to be on like a magnetic switch back here. Um, I don't know. I couldn't get it to work, so I just fucking unplug it every time I'm done with it. It's not that big a deal to me. Um, up here, we got some mini screwdrivers, mini pry bar, uh, long screwdriver, aka Husky pry bar. Uh, this is an Astro AI um, air chuck. It's digital with the locking end, which is super nice. Safety glasses, uh, Milwaukee light. This worked pretty well. I like it. Um, this is a Husky rechargeable LED light. This works well. Um, I'm brand loyal to nobody. That's gonna be my disclaimer here. Um, and you'll see that when we go through the box. Um, this is a Foxwell uh, scanner. It's a super basic scanner. I don't do a lot of diagnostics on vehicles because all of our vehicles are F-250s and 350s and the exception of one F-550. Um, like I said, I work for a municipality, so I'm technically a fleet mechanic and that's what I take care of. Um, and really, anybody that's worked on those, unless you're having, you know, computer problems or they're throwing really goofy codes, they're super simple to work on. Um, I got the Icon screwdriver line here. I took my Snap-on ones home um, just because I, I really like these. Um, you can tell which two I use the most and compare them to the color of the ones I don't use. Um, I really like them. It'd be cool if they'd come out with some other colors. I think Icon's going to start getting into that shortly, um, hopefully. Uh, paper towel holder, um, and that's pretty much it up here. Um, I've been real happy with this. The hutch is good. I mean, this is, you know, 
the guy that used to work here, his box is over there. Um, he left it here when he retired because he didn't want to take it home. Um, he took the hutch with him though, but his hutch was identical to this. It had the same struts, same plastic, same design. So I think the people at Hazard Freight and Icon just kind of said, well, we'll just model it after Snap-on, right? All right, so going into the main drawer, um, it's my socket drawer. I don't have a lot of chrome. 90% um, of what I do is impact. And if I need a chrome, and I do have some, um, most of my sockets are Tecton, Gear Wrench, Nico. There are a few Snap-on specialty ones, um, like the bigger ones, like the 27. And then these mo these here, I want to say are this is a gear wrench, if I remember. Yeah, these are gear wrench. Um, these are snap on. What else do I got? I think that's pretty much it. And then my ratchets are this is a snap on. Uh, it's a three eighths flex head. Um, three eighths regular. Um, I like the comfort grip. I tried getting the ones with the plastic. Um, my dealer's having a hard time getting them right now. Um, this is a gear wrench. 3 8 flex side. This one's actually pretty nice. I like it because it has a, a thinner profile this way than the snap on. So good for getting into tight spaces. What else we got in here? Extensions, uh, three foot snap on pry bar, uh, the Milwaukee Impact, um, 3 8 Impact Ratchet. This is the regular ratchet, 3 8 These are really good. Um, this is a two foot gear wrench flex head. This is the Icon flex head half inch and a regular Pittsburgh half inch. Like I said, guys, brand loyalty, no, that means nothing. If it is a good tool and it works and it gets pretty good reviews, I'm going to buy it and try it out. Um, these are just standard uh, Lexavon. This is a 3 8 um, torque wrench, half inch torque wrench. This is a gear wrench, digital torque wrench. This is actually a really nice unit. Uh, real happy with that. Um, and then what do I got here? I got half inch, uh, three eighths impacts, shorties, deep wells. Um, these are the mid lengths, three eighths right here, three eighths wobble, half inch wobble, and then half inch. Those are kind of these are kind of bigger sizes, so I think they go from uh, I'm going to say 24 to 27. And then just my little pile of quarter inch if I have to work on like a weed whacker, a blower, or something small. Um, this thing's a lot of fun. This is a uh, snap-on quarter inch flex. I want to say it's like the 12-inch version. This thing is awesome. If you're on the truck and you have $119 to waste, I suggest getting this. I use this a lot. I'm actually, I ordered one with this uh, profile, but it has a 3 8 head on it. So I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, and that's that for that drawer. Next drawer, we got wrenches. Um, <clears throat> these are the Icon, um, what do they call these? Uh, double box and spline drive, I think. These are nice. I had the Tecton version. I didn't like them because they were six point and they were really hard to get off of a uh, rusty fastener. So I switched to these. These are just some Pittsburgh. Um, usually I buy these <clears throat> if I have to um, make a specialty wrench. So some of them, this is my second round of these in, I don't know, probably five years. Um, some of them, sometimes I'll have to take it and I'll fucking have to cut cut it in half here and weld it to something and get into a spot. Or These are good for that for, I think they were like 21 bucks throwaway wrenches. Um, I got husky wrenches here for bigger equipment. Teched in, these are uh, metric. Everything in here minus these is metric. Um, I only use metric. Um, I made that switch years ago. That's the same thing in my socket drawer. Um, there are two sets of sockets in there, um, complete sockets that are uh, standard. Everything else is metric. Um, these are the Icon flex head. Uh, ratchets these are really nice i like these a lot these are the gear wrench uh one end is a fixed box one end ratchets for you these are really nice uh, i went with these over the icon because you get i think three extra wrenches tucked in stubbies tucked in uh standard um ratchets here's what i'm saying about the tectons they're all six point let me see if i can get in on that one so if you put this on a fastener that's not rusty or doesn't have corrosion on it, you're good to go. If you put it on there, uh, good luck getting it off. It's, it, it takes quite a bit of time. Um, 
big ass Pittsburgh adjustable, and then just some random wrenches there that go, I wanna say in order to complete this set, I went from 24 all the way up to 32. Those are the ones in between. <clears throat> uh in here's pliers these are the mostly used pliers i have some snap-on picks tectin picks um these are oem for hoses um all your long pliers radiator pliers all that happy horse shit this is a spark boot puller tool um comes in handy on some tight spaces ah uh, your channel locks these are for filters um and then the oem plier set right here and the OEM wire strippers. Um, I like OEM tools, they make some nice stuff. These are the snap-on um, side cutter, or not snap-on, duh, they look just like snap-on. These are the Icon uh, side cutters, these are really nice. Um, I'm gonna have to warranty them out, the tip is chipped. Um, <clears throat> believe it or not guys, if anybody's never used the Icon warranty, it is super simple. You literally walk in with this tool and say, this is broken, hand it to them, and they give you a new tool. It's really easy. Um, over here, I have some older screwdrivers, extensions, uh, quarter-inch ratchet, um, what else I got in here? Some scrapers, Allen keys, and that's about it in here. Uh, some trim tools. In here, uh, I have a master bit set, screwdrivers, Allen keys. Charging drawer, drill bits. Um, I use all Milwaukee <coughs> power drawer. Uh, just a regular drill. This is a little M12 drill. Uh, what do we got here? Another drill. This is the half inch boy. Three eight stubby. Really nice tool. There's like a little hacksaw down there. I have a husky ear grinder. An Ingersoll Rand uh, air hammer, bits are the beading drawer. This is kind of the overflow uh, plier, wrench, pick, uh, gland nut tools. I got a two foot tectin ratchet here. This is a nice ratchet. Um, two Pittsburgh breaker bars, and this extension is a tectin. It's a two foot, half inch extension. Uh, this is kind of like my layout slash parts, um, fluids, paint pens, markers, uh, air chisels, step bits, everything you'd kind of need before you have to go to the parts bin should be in here. <coughs> Favorite drawer? Beating drawer. Um, OEM dead blows. Those are gear wrench, ball pins, snap on, um, pry bar set. I have some gear wrench lady slippers. These are... Um, who makes these? Uh, Astro Pneumatic, I think, makes these. Those are the uh, it's a chisel set, wire brushes, some more safety glasses, and a tape measure. Uh, what do we got in here? We got a Foxwell battery tester, tire repair kit, power probe, a Lexavon mini torch, a Pittsburgh front wheel drive axle set. Uh, this scan tool is right there. That's just the case for it. And then a uh, tool to repair uh, grease joints. <clears throat> what we got in here? We got zip ties, gloves, uh, a plug-in grinder. It's a Ryobi grinder. A bunch of discs for it. Um, brake tools. And then a plug-in Milwaukee saws off for heavier shit. And that's pretty much it. Um... Like I said, I've been really happy with this box. It's a good box. Um, I am a professional tech, so I use it daily. I've had zero problems with it. I have no complaints. My only complaints is that I kind of wish you could swap. I wish these three drawers were as deep as these two. Um, I would totally sacrifice three drawers to get two more deep drawers. Um, but we'll see. Um, I, I may or may not be selling this and getting something slightly bigger and slightly different. Um, it's not going to be a snap-on box or anything. I'm actually looking at a Tool Vault Elite 84. Um, it'll be a bottom 84-inch box with an 84-inch hutch. Um, but I'm going to give it some thought. I'm going to shop this around and see what I can get for it on you know, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or hell, if anybody here is interested, leave it down below. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my toolbox tour update. Um, if you guys have any specific questions about tools you saw, 
um, about the box or anything else you guys want to see, leave it down below and let me know. And I will talk to you later. All right, guys.